What is last year's holiday horse doing here? Oh yeah, it's Christmas today and it's time for a new unboxing video. Two new horses today, so I'm gonna start off with the smaller one and then we'll move up. The reason I got this guy is just because, I mean, look. It's another of those clear wear models, which I don't really have. And I want these a lot, like, wow, just look. He looks really good. So without further further ado, let's just Here we're a model and he is gorgeous. Like you can't even see in some of his pictures you can't really see the silver, but it's much more obvious on the model and I actually like it. So he's almost got this kind of Florentine thing going on on top of his translucent blue color. He has these little silver patches and you We'll mostly see his translucency where it's really obvious in his feet and his tail and mane. Also in his face where there are less silver spots. And he looks really good. Guys, I don't have this mold. So this is my first time, but I really like it. And I don't know, it turned out so perfect for this model. I mean, it just looks like his hair is water cresting over his neck. Just like it says in the box. I think he is perfect. So I would definitely recommend buying this guy bef before he gets either sold out or retired because he is a limited edition. Okay. The next horse that we have is Yuletide Greetings. So I have only one other holiday horse, but I've decided I'm going to start a holiday horse collection. So probably every year after this, I'll be buying one, especially because I saw next year's his name is Arctic Grandeur, and let me give you a spoiler. He's awesome. If you want to see a picture of him, um, check out Stormy Strike's YouTube channel, where she has a video with all the new releases for next year. Anyway, let's get back to the horse. So he's got, like, I think the same box as last year. Well, not exactly the same, but the outline is the same, except on the inside, it looks like a snowy place in the night. So, and we move to the back, or oh, poor high tide in the back, it's very like fresh, okay. And then it talks about the holiday horse, and it talks about how in many places it's a tradition to select a, a, um, a Christmas tree, and um, if you want a helping hand or hoof. So this is Francis, he's meant to represent Francis' powerful draft horse, the Arden. Ardennes, I'm just gonna call it the Ardennes. Don't accuse me if I'm wrong. And so yeah, so his name is Yuletide Greetings and I think he looks very, very cute. So why don't we open it? It's him? actually really easy to remove it. There's just a little Velcro, it's really nice and accessible. And oh, I forgot to say about these little star things on his feet, very cute. And now let's talk about the model. I don't have this mold, it's the Shannon Dell loose mane and tail version and it looks really cute honestly so he's this drafter and let's talk about the mold first he has this really like he has kind of a roman nose and a super cute face i think that's really nice and then i don't know which i'd like this in better loose or loose mane and tail or the braided one to be honest, I think it's good they pick loose mane and tail because it wouldn't be as much fun with the ribbons over a braided up tail. But it depends on the model really. Anyway, he is really cute. Lots and lots and lots of shading. Like he has these light spots and dark spots and you see in his back how it gets kinda of darker. That's it's a really cute bay and we don't see I feel like you don't see Brayer do these kind of bays that much. On like in the muzzle, they fade these kind of medium tone bays. They usually do like the red bays or bright bays, like Balino or Live Integrity. Why do I keep calling it Live Integrity? It's LV Integrity. Ignore me. Anyway, he is so so cute. You should definitely get them. So stop by at your local rare retailer or order them from the website or Amazon and you can have lots of fun with your brayer and he's he has rustic appeal he's totally appealing to me right now oh my god he's so cute 
So he has a normal halter, which is really different from other holiday horses like Minstrel, because they have these fancy head pieces. His halter is normal, but it has this little piece along his mane with these bows and holly, I want to say. I'm guessing. Don't judge me again. Okay, and it leads right to this blanket where it's connected. And this blanket, it's really soft. Like, I wish this was a real horse blanket. It's so soft. It has this, like, I think that's plaid gingham kind of thing going on. And that's really cute. And then he has this braided red, like, rope around coming around. And it's folding up in the corners where there are these little jingle bells. That's cute. And here we got this gigantic bow with, like, plaid and mousse. And, yeah, it's just really cute. Oh, and then the tail. The tail. Yes. So he has these, like, big bows. This guy loves bows, apparently, with some holly. And I love how the, like, this burlap material just curls around his tail. Mine got a bit, ah, no. Okay, a bit ruined in packaging. And on this side, he says, happy holidays. So, of course, this is all removable, I think. Hope this is removable. How do I remove this? No idea. We'll also figure be that. sure to like and subscribe because next year I've been saving up a lot of money and we're going to get a bunch of new horses next year. So be sure to like and subscribe so you can see all of those unboxing videos and more. Also, if you want to read my blog that's all about horses, search www.nocapitalisadorablescrafts.com.